Good morning, good morning everybody. How are we? How you doing? How's your day? My Wi-Fi is not really very good at the moment, unfortunately. So hopefully will be all right. Good morning. Do say hello. Just so I'm not here all by myself. I know um, I know there are quite a few today that can't make it this morning live, but they will be joining in shortly um, or watching along later, which is fine. That's what these classes are all about. So how are you all? Have you all had a good weekend? Morning, Sarah. I very vaguely sketched out and I didn't even bother finishing sketching out where my coral's going to go. Look at that. Terrible. Morning, Sandra. Okay, that's fine, Alison. I'll let you do that. Seven of you so far. Lovely to have you with me. Quite a fun one today. I've tried to make it as simple as possible in terms of drawing and painting. Um, just because it'd be nice and fun. I'm very chilly this morning. When I run out of time to get myself... Hello, Alison. Welcome. Shall I be gentle with you? Or shall I throw you in like I have everybody else? No, I will. It'll be fine. Don't be nervous. It's fine. Good morning, Brad. Good. <laughs> Do you know what? I I um I struggle to get cling film because I've I've gone all posh and I've gone I've gone beeswax. Um, I've got the the beeswax um shrink wrap instead. Um. And I thought, have I still got cling film? And I have, because I'm obviously I'm I'm at home today. I'm not at the shop. Um, while the classroom's closed, um, I'm working from home as much as possible because it's it's nice. Oh, I love it, Alice, and I love the attitude. Excellent. You will regret that. <laughs> Apologies for the throat. Um, Hay fever at the moment normally just affects my sinuses, but um, the last couple of days it's really made my throat dry and scratchy. So, uh, yes, I don't sound my normal self. Um, and just a reminder, if you are on Discord, I don't think we've got Nick yet, have we? Nine of you, lovely to have you with me. Thank you for joining me this morning. Um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been wonderful actually. We've we've. How did you find out about us, um, Alison? Quick question. What was that? Of course it will. Morning, Dawn. You are here. Welcome. Um. Yes, Alison, you need to, um, you need to, um, this is Alison Cherry, I'm just quickly replying to, you need to soak it in um, warm water uh, a few times and uh, because it has a um, protective gum on the bristles and some bristles hold on to that gum more. Um, it's to keep it its shape. So when, when you buy brushes in the shop they're they're sort of like this actually because this has got dry watercolor on it now but they put sort of like a a gum arabic -y type varnish stuff on it um to keep it nice and pointy um 
but with some of the bristles the more natural haired bristles you have to really um soak it through um at least three or four times um just so it gets all of the gunk off it but yes um other allison new allison um you uh you can zoom it in as much as you like it's your painting i teach technique not style um if you just wanted to focus on part of it that's really up to you it's your painting um i'm here just to give you techniques morning catherine oh so you know what you're letting yourself in for then if it's your first one but you did the bluebell one that's lovely the bluebell one um is amazing um i'm uh Oh, I've got I've actually got to give you some structure now that's that's giving me pressure now Alison um so yeah the bluebell wood one is uh I, I think the last time I looked it said four and a half thousand views now which is mad for to say we're such a tiny I mean a tiny art shop those of you that shop with us know how tiny we are um in fact I, I think on one google review they called us a um a stationary closet um <laughs> but I know stationary closets that are bigger than my shop. <laughs> but, 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 you know. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll give you a bit of time just in case, because not everybody draws straight away, and some people... Um... Thank you, Sandra. Um, if you have drawn, if you could just type drawn, just so I know. Um, but I do allow 10, 15 minutes anyway, because not everybody, you know, I'm... Uh, I'm aware that you do have lives outside of these classes, um, so I'm not I'm not precious. It's just lovely that you still want to to come and join. And I hope um, so. For those of you that wh where are you from, Catherine and uh, New Allison? I've got you, New Allison. Absolutely small but perfectly formed. You're correct. Um, where are you both from? The two new 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 joiners, um, because these these online classes are going to um, carry on forever. Um, even when normality resumes, when whenever that may be. Um, but, uh, yeah, we will... Uh, Cheshire, oh, lovely. Oh, well done, Alison, with your masking fluid. Um, Cheshire, whereabouts in Cheshire are you from? <coughs> I used to have to go... Oh, Bracknell, lovely, the home of Dana Rowney. Thank you, Dawn. Um... Yeah, Cheshire is lovely. I I love I love Chester. I love going to Chester, but Cheshire is a lovely county. Um, my uh, my ex-wife's parents lived in Flintshire. Well, my ex-father-in-law still does lives in Flintshire, which is just just off off a bit of it. So uh, yeah, it's lovely going through. Beautiful. <laughs> Bollington. Oh, how lovely. On the edge of the Peak District. I bet you've got no end of beautiful photographs that you want to paint or have painted. Um, so hopefully these techniques um, will help you. I've actually forgotten what colours I told you. I know um, it was either cerulean or phthalo. Um, cadmium yellow, both reds and burnt sienna. Cadmium red. Oh, and a bit of crimson, maybe. Because some of the coral's a bit more pinky, isn't it, than red. Okay. So, we'll throw in a bit of crimson, possibly. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll take it, uh, take it from there. I thought this was quite a cool picture today. Um, I've actually had to... It is a Getty image um, that I've borrowed, but I have sort of manipulated it more. I've added a little bit I've made it longer and thinner and added far more um, water to it because I think that's that's what that's what I want. I found the f the photograph that I wanted for this does not exist. Um, 
so I end up having to mash a few things together to make it how I want but uh, that's good so once a few more tell me that you've drawn then I will start I haven't masked out my little fish because I thought I'd be um, nice I know what um, I thought I'd be nice because I know some of you might not have masked anything out so I'll, I'll just paint around them or lift them out or something Oh, Lorna, you're new as well. Why do I know your name, Lorna? Okay. That's why. From rugby. You've done the, uh, you've done a few of the free online classes. We're going to still do some of those as well. Um, the, the, cause, uh, I will do one, absolutely. Um, Cerulean Blue, or Phthalo Blue, or Intense Blue. Um, whichever one of those, because that's a greeny blue, and we need we really need that for today. Um, cadmium yellow, or any orangey yellow, um, a bright orangey yellow. Uh, cadmium red, or vermilion. Um, and crimson, or carmine. And burnt sienna, or any brown. Uh, pale cadmium red, Lorna, I think, will do. Dark goes to more of the crimson side, pale is more to the orange side. Just having a quick look in the oh if you head to our website which we've we've had to tweak a little bit so um if you've had it normally set in your phone why well, you would i don't know thank you uh, so um it's now dot com not do not dot co dot uk but we've now got our new um july to december booklet that you can download with all of our classes in um and the next free one is the 25th of july and then the 22nd of August are two free online classes um, on a Saturday morning. So yeah, there's all sorts of things going on. Uh, yeah, that's fine, Alison. It's orangey red, it, orangey yellow. It's more of a transparent um, orangey yellow, which is interesting because you've got several. Um, I knew, I knew what you meant. Because um, cadmium yellow in artist's quality is, thank you Sarah, is um, opaque and lemon yellow in artist's quality is opaque or cadmium lemon is also opaque but new gamboge is the transparent version of artist's quality or you know um, it's a nice transparent orange yellow and oreolin is a nice um, transparent lemon yellow so there we go there's a new fact for you for a Sunday morning on the 7th of June and it's very grey out here today and very chilly in the wilds of North Oxfordshire uh, oh god we did get hail um, what was I doing yesterday what day was it I've got um... yeah no it was Friday I had um, hail during my afternoon class and um, it, it was pounding against the window massive hail we, we didn't get hail here but I know uh, most of Banbury got hail because I'm six miles out and I, I have my own um, sort of weather system here on this hill um, but uh, yeah I know uh, the shop roof took a bit of a flood yesterday down the wall in the shop because the hailstones blocked all the guttering and it overflowed down the wall um, but thankfully, Cathy and Roger were about, so they moved all my stock out of the way. But, uh, yeah, scary. Have, have, heaven's opened yesterday. That should be all right. Don't worry, Alison, it'll be fine. As long as we've got sort of colours. Um, I'm not a... I'm, no, I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to this, because obviously it's your world, and it's your version. So we don't have to worry too much. I'm going to paint, uh, but these fish on the left, I'm not even going to, I've drawn them in, but that's just to give me an idea. But I am going to paint around the turtle 
and the two little fish. Um, now, thank you, Brad. Um, I am on, oh, well, you may not be added to Discord, and without Nick, he did send me a leaf, a thing to tell me how to add people, but I've not watched it yet, because... Uh, So, because I know some of you haven't, um, I will be putting our masking fluid pens, um, our fine masking fluid pens, the 4 95 um, I'll be putting these on our Shop Happy page um, over the next week or so. Uh, they're 4 95 so um, if any of you need any masking fluid, um, do that. If you're not familiar with what masking fluid is, um, I don't use it very often. It's just useful when you've got small areas uh, that you need to protect in a large expanse of wash and it stops you from uh, having to stop the flow of your wash for it um, but it's kind of like um, a bit like copied X glue um, that it's a liquid rubber but if you leave it on too long it can um, it can rip your paper because it is it is liquid rubber right so I'm just gonna I'm gonna wet me squirrel give it a good set because yeah um friday and yesterday i was doing i don't know if you've caught yesterday's uh, free demo yesterday morning um it was a demo on making objects look three-dimensional in watercolors now that's on our main shop page and you can look in the video section there and it will be there forever and we just looked at how to make um objects trees mountains fences and just shapes look three-dimensional with additional shadow or with additional glazing of the same color over the top and um it was a, quite a popular demo actually um one of our more popular ones uh it's weird i've been a bit spoiled during lockdown with more of you tuning in um normally on my saturday demos i'd get excited if i got 30 people watching and um no, not 30, 13 people watching. And I'd get really excited if I'd had 70 views by half past one, two o'clock in the afternoon. But yesterday I'd got 70 odd people watching and it had um, 400 views by by the time I'd finished the demo at 12 o'clock. So um, that's amazing. I'm really grateful for you all um, suffering me, really. <laughs> And, uh, and letting me do what I do. Right, so what I want to do, we've got to work quickly for this. Okay. I'm going to wet the sky. Well, it's not the sky, is it? It's blue, but it's the sea. I'm going to wet the sea. It feels weird saying that at this end. Um, I'm going to paint over those fish. going to paint round my turtle. Now, I'm working on a slope. Um, when I'm back in the classroom, it's flat, you see. So it's, I haven't got the same issue. Um... But I want it fairly wet because we need, we, when we add the cling film, we need the paints to be wet. Have I said ultramarine? I haven't, have I? I think ultramarine might be useful as well. Or shall we? Oh, dear me, now I've got myself in a, in a pickle. If you've got ultramarine, it might be useful, but I don't want you to feel that you need to stop this in mid-flow to allow you to do what you need to do. So what I'm going to do is go with a little bit of, I've got phthalo blue here, and a tiny weeny bit of cadmium yellow, because I want it to be a little bit more green based. I'm going to pop that right at the top. Hello? No, I haven't gone right to the bottom. I've left it lighter. I've left it dry where the coral is. Sorry, I did I did forget to say that. Um, and then as I come down, I'm going to add more blue. So it's a much lighter teal at the top with incrementally more blue. 
Now if you haven't got Ultramarine, I will show you how you can darken, because around about here I want it a little bit darker. So if I mix my Thalo Blue with a little bit of Cadmium Red, it will start to go dark. I've just got to remember not to go gung-ho with this. And um, let my little turtle show up. So if you've got ultramarine, this is where you could add ultramarine. Um, if you haven't, you can just mix a more rich version of the blue with cadmium red and the blue that you're using. Let's go paint around my little turtle. I'll have to give him a name. So this will go roughly to where the coral is. But I can't have that top bit dry, you see. Make sure your teal colour at the top is still wet because we've got a bit of cling film that we've got to add to this. And what I'm going to do is I've got my cling film, I'm going to scrunch it up. scrunch and place it place it on the top of my picture which is why it's got to be wet I'm just sort of going to pull it taut in places I've, I've gone really mad with my cling film. I've pulled off far more than I needed, but you know, that's all right. And you can see that you've got a chance to manipulate the cling film while the paint's wet because that's how it will dry. It will dry as you see it. So I'm going to let that dry like that, and I'm actually going to do nothing else for a little minute. Except just soften that edge there. I'll let that dry. So, providing we don't have any further repercussions or anything, um, we are planning to sort of reopen the shop from Tuesday the 16th of June. Um, we are only going to be open 10 till 4 and we are initially just going to do click and collect only from either shop appy orders or online or phone call or emails or Facebook orders where people have ordered stock. Um, you can come in, you will be able to sort of browse when you collect your stuff but you won't be able to touch anything unless you're going to buy it. Um, we would like you to wear a mask where possible and um, not pay by cash if that's also possible if you are paying by cash you have to have the exact money um but if you're ordering online you'll already have paid for it through shop happy so it doesn't really matter um but we do contactless we do apple pay we do say um samsung pay um and chip and pin and all of that kind of stuff so uh, there are plenty of ways that you can uh, still buy your stuff from us and we're we're not open sundays and mondays um, I'm, I've rejigged my opening hours um, just for this short term but we won't be open on, on Mondays as a shop um, anymore because we, we did that for three years and to be honest it's, it, it was a big stress for me to be in the shop I teach a class in the morning then I'm in the shop until 9 o'clock at night um, 
as well as teaching an evening class. So those of you that come to the Tuesday evening class, when the classroom reopens, you will still be able to use the shop, but it just won't be open to the public because it's, um, I've really noticed how much more improved my health is through not working 72 hours a week, which might not be a surprise to you, but it was a surprise to me. Um, and now I've, you know, I've been, I was doing 72 hours a week for, hmm, four years. And now I've stopped. I don't think my body will allow me to get back into that. And I don't particularly want to put my body through those kind of hours. So, um, it's time to work smarter, not harder. That's what the buzzword is, isn't it? So, uh, uh, hopefully these online classes, if we have a few more people joining us, um, then it will help give me enough of an income so I don't have to put so many hours in. Okay, so how are we doing? Obviously you can just about see my fish. Morning Nick. That's alright, did you have a bit of a lie in mate? I am on Discord if you and Sandra. Um, where does the morning go, eh? Where does all the time go? Everything just flies by, doesn't it? I'm just letting that dry. Just because I, I don't want cauliflowers and stuff. And to be honest, we're only half an hour in. Um, and I'm not touching this cling film for a while, uh, for a reason. Um, because the uh, the paint underneath stays wet for a lot longer because uh, I'll talk to you about the cling film because for some of you it might be a totally new thing oh a shopping run um, it might be a new thing so cling film technique only works with watercolour because as we know now you're here Nick I can say it watercolour dries 30% lighter and um, because of that, what happens with the cling film is that where the cling film is touching the wet paint, it stops the oxygen from getting to it. So it doesn't dry lighter. Where the cling film is scrunched or ruched, it's got pockets of air. So the pockets of air make the watercolours dry lighter. Um, no other paint does that. Acrylics tend to dry a bit like emulsion. They dry matte and darker. Gouache dries matte and darker. And oils, there's no colour shift at all. So, um, you can't do it in any other way. And often, this cling film technique is, is thought of to be for kids. And back when I worked in primary education, um, it was for kids. However, I thought, you know what? Why should the kids have all the fun in these new and different techniques? So uh, cling film is, is really good for texture. Um, here we, we're doing it for that dappled light on the top of the sea. But also you can uh, put, if you were doing a, a sea itself, you know, like a landscape with the sea in, if you pull it taut, you can get lines for the sea uh, horizontally. If you want tree bark texture, you can pull it, vertically taut uh, while the paint is wet for your tree and that will give you really interesting stuff it's great for uh, abstract landscapes or abstract flowers where you you know how you manipulate manipulate the cling film can make a really interesting difference to the whole picture now this is still a little bit wet around the turtle so i'm just going to leave it for a minute and see but you can see here um how the wet in wet has just sort of gone nice and fuzzy, which is good. Morning, Nick. Well, you know, I, I think there's a lot of pressure when you're an adult, and, and obviously I've trained in primary edge and, and adult ed now, and the first thing that I you're taught in adult education is that how scary it is for an adult to enter a classroom again for many reasons they might have had a really bad time at school um, and it's very apprehensive for them to enter an educational situation as a grown-up 
depending on what their uh, situation was like at school. So it's all about inspiring confidence in your own ability and making you enjoy learning. Um, well, not making you, I don't force you to enjoy yourself. Um, but you know what I mean. So it's, um, so we've got lots of bongs. There we go. Um, but, you know, I think you can enjoy yourself and you can learn at the same time and it's taken me you know i wish i'd learned that when i was i was only in my early 20s in primary education and um i was quite a stickler but uh, you learn far more through fun and enjoyment i think than you do um in any other way so i think why not and a lot of art books and tutorials presume that you've got this high knowledge of art and design before you've even joined a class or something now obviously for me you join a class because you don't know I, I get so many people that say i'd love to come to your classes barry but but I, I don't think i'm good enough and i say well it's it's because you're not good enough that you should come to a class um because that will help you feel more confident and you probably are good enough uh, everyone's good enough um art is so subjective that uh I think there's a, there's a lot of pressure. I, a podcast a few weeks ago, I'm only talking while I'm waiting for paint to dry. Um, I did a podcast a couple of weeks ago now, and it was all about people who are, we've been almost shamed that we can't call ourselves artists, you know, unless you're earning a lot of money or you've got a high following on social media. I see on social media all the time adverts crop up for i can show you how to make it as an artist if you pay me x amount of money you can learn this and that um but it's presuming that artists who aren't raking in money or haven't got thousands of pounds in savings in the bank haven't made it and they're missing the point of what art is um yes if you can earn an income from art then that is absolutely wonderful but it's not about income art is an expression and it's about how you feel and how you uh, manage your emotions and how you relax and and what you put into it um, as well as what you get out of it so for me art is a an all-encompassing thing rather than just a way to make money if if i was after a way to make money if i'm honest it wouldn't be through teaching people how to paint because it doesn't it doesn't bring in a lot of cash um but it's the, it's the other aspects that make a difference. But you can all call yourself an artist. I hear people say, I'll say, well, you, do you do art? Or, well, they almost have to apologise for the fact that they, they're not an artist. I, I just dabble a little bit, or I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm only a beginner, or, or I'm, I'm this, I'm that. Call yourself an artist. If you wake up every day and you want to create, you are an artist, and you will always be that way. Um, So don't be ashamed. You are all artists. All nine of you in this, um, in this group are artists. Um, whether you're a good artist or a bad artist, that's not down to you to say. That's down to whoever's looking at your work, and that will vary. You could have four people in a room, two will love it, two might not like it. One might even hate it, but that's, that's their choice. Um, it shouldn't reflect on you or stop you from making art. Anyway, this is starting to dry. I think this bit is a little bit, that might be all right, because I want to do sort of wet in wet corals and things down here. Um, I like doing wet in wet and then bringing the control back in again. Um, let's see how we go. So I'm going to wet the bottom bit now. Just make sure all the blue's off my brush because... Uh, I have a habit of not cleaning it properly. I should really bounce it up and down in the water. Not so it touches the bottom, but just so it bounces up and down and agitates the bristles. But sometimes I don't. I just give it a rough swill. And that doesn't really do anything. I'm going to do this fairly wet. I want bright colours down here. But you can have both bright colours and soft muted colours. Um, it's up to you. So I hope our three new people are enjoying themselves. I don't expect you to comment while you're painting. Because um, that's quite a skill. We have got... 
I'm just adding water. Just water. And I want to put the brighter colours in before I put some of the dark blue around it. So, oh, we'll go with a bit of um, orangey red in places, I think. Oh, that's all. Oh, look at that. You see, it spreads like coral because water, the paint finds... It finds its own sort of resistance. And we'll let it spread and move around. Put a sort of actual coral bit on the dry bit. Maybe I'll go in with a bit of crimson or carmine. And do a few others. There's a bit of pink here. Now some paints you might find are a heavier pigment than others. So they don't run in the same way. Some will shoot. <gasps> well, yes, Alison, I am. Um, we have Nick. Nick's very techy, and he's one of our regulars. He comes to all of them online, don't you? And um, he's a glutton for punishment, is Nick. But also, he set us up on Discord. So we have got Discord, Alison. If you have Discord, um, and you can talk to us in real life. If that excites you enough to want to join in that way, that's that's fine. There's a fish there. Let me draw around that fish. Paint around that fish with a little bit of coral. So um, the classes themselves, at the moment, um, they're going to be on hold for at least a month or two. Um, while we see what's going on in terms of the virus and um, the reason being is that oh actually if I go with a bit of crimson and a bit of phthalo blue I'll get a nice purple colour um, the reason why we can't open the classroom yet um, is is basically me that um, we can't really do social distancing in the classroom we can only fit at the moment under the current guidelines of two metre or even a metre uh, social distancing. We can only fit two people in the classroom. Now, in terms of finance, for a real life class, that's only 24 pounds. And when you think of the fact that, not that I'm suggesting any of you would come in while you are ill, but you could be asymptomatic and not know you are ill. And the, the, the problem is, is we're sitting in a small room that has very little in the way of airflow. And um, it means that I will be facing you and in full brunt of any sneezes and coughs for two and a half hours in one small room. And as we're finding out with many things with the virus, it's it's more about um, not necessarily the distance that we're sitting apart from each other, but the airflow and the proximity, and also how um, how long you spend in one space with somebody else. Um, so it's uh, it's really I've got to protect myself. I could put screens up, but it doesn't really make a difference after I've been doing a bit of research. Um, because once it's airborne in a small 12 foot square room, um, then uh, it, it's it's there and I'll be breathing in the other side of my screen. So because I don't particularly want to get ill, um, I am keeping the classroom closed for a while. Now whether I'll be keeping an eye over the next couple of months, um, but if if and when I do feel confident, it might be that I have to get you all to wear masks or something. I don't know because I really am apprehensive. I've, as those of you that have known me for a while throughout this whole lockdown know how, how scared I am about it. Um, I'm not. This is some cadmium yellow um, with a bit of phthalo blue just to do some greeny yellow bits. Um, 
I'm not at risk per se, but um, I'm also not in the business of wanting to get ill because of my all aspects of my job involve me being with people. And uh, this is uh, cadmium yellow and uh, a little bit of phthalo blue or Prussian blue, whichever you've got. Um, I'm just dropping it in around and about, to be honest, um, filling in a few gaps. So the classroom will reopen again and hopefully this year. But uh, as to how many people I'll fit in, I don't know. Um, but hopefully you understand because it's uh, such a weird time and it's such a it's a small room and that's the that's the issue I have is it's a small room with one window one door and a fan um, and that that's where the problem lies um, I've got some of it starting to dry a little bit so for the background stuff I'm going to mix cadmium red and phthalo blue to make a, a sort of dull grey blue colour and I'm just going to place some of that in it's going to go over some of this and sort of maybe go out and round and about so yeah I do I, I really have missed it and I've missed the classroom being closed and I've missed not seeing you all but equally it's the safest thing for everybody at the moment um, so I, I, I am looking forward to a time when the classroom can reopen again I'm just apprehensive as to when that will be Just filling in, still using the big brush with a few little points and things. Because this will help us, If even if you've got a bit of water, this isn't a strong colour. Um, but yeah, we've got, a, we've got a server, Alison, called um, the Artery Server on Discord. And uh, if you have it, you are welcome to join us. If you are going to do more online classes, that will be fine. You are allowed. I can use this colour and drop it in a few if I've got anything that's still wet. But we'll sort of <coughs> bring the coral into play in a bit with a bit more detail. But I just need all of that to dry. Hello. Oh, tech issues, don't tell me about it. I was trying to do a live stream show um, yesterday evening as a practice. Um, okay, Alison, that's fine. Um, you it, request to join the student of the artery group as well that's on our page um, that there's information in there as well they're nice aren't they it, it takes a while to get um, any of the like the squirrel brushes or the sableesque brushes um, they take a while to control because you've got to have a lot of um, a lot of paint and water in there to get the that get the point and what have you but um yeah it's they're, they're really lovely feels nice doesn't it 
Mm. Exactly. And you'll be able to do more um, spiky stuff and all manner of things. So I'm going to let this dry. Actually, I know it's it's 15 minutes earlier than normal, but this might be a good opportunity because we're waiting for lots to dry um, to pop the kettle on and, uh, and make yourself a cuppa. Then I'll whip my cling film off for you. There's a promise for a Sunday morning. Can you contain the excitement? All right, let's stick the kettle on. I think I need coffee.
How are we doing? Ah, oh, yes. I have. I have to do something. I have to. I have to get a clock that ticks loudly for the classroom. Um. I find it very soothing as well, Alison. There are some people that hate the ticking clock, uh, but I really love it. Um. I've got. I'm a bit of a, a clock obsessive. This. The one in here. I'm in my dining room at the moment. Um. The uh, this is an old 1930s 1940s Baker light wind up chimer. Um, I've got um, I swapped it for something actually, I can't remember in a vintage shop. Um, and then in the living room, I've got a mantle clock that I found in the tip for a fiver that had its key, its, its chime has been removed. Um, but that's nice. And then in also in the living room, I've got a um, a small wall clock from the 30s or 40s um, that chimes um, and that keeps amazing time. This one is a little bit slow at times but that's to do with me not being bothered to fiddle about. Then in my bedroom I've got a little old-fashioned 1930s alarm clock, little wind-up one. Um, I do love ticking, I really do love ticking clocks. Oh, a cuckoo clock, that's lovely. Well, I, I have a clock here, and I have told this story before. Thank you, Nick, um, on the case. Um, my mother had very... Um, See, I'm very vintage. Everything about me is vintage. My clothes, my style, my home, my shop, everything is vintage. Um, around about 30s, 40s era. Uh, but my mother liked anything that was tacking. <laughs> um, anything that was tacking. And uh, either sparkle, if it sparkled, had a neon butterfly on it or whatever. I Basically, she just liked pretty things. She was a bit like a magpie, my mum. And... Uh, she had this clock of bird song, so every hour a different bird song, and she knew how much I got annoyed by that clock. So um, before she went into the hospice, and she was she was giving family members things that uh, you know that she wanted them to to have to remember her by. She gave me that clock. Um, <laughs> on purpose um, it's in my kitchen and it's a brilliant clock I do not put the second battery in for a different bird song every hour just because it doesn't stop and, and it gets a bit annoying um, but occasionally occasionally I will um, you know if I want to think of mom I will shove the battery in the back of that clock and get annoyed about the bird song and it will make me laugh um This is still drying, so I'd rather not press it and just leave it for now. Oh, I, lo I love them, Alison. I really do love a wind-up clock. Um, I find, I think also, I don't know what it is. I, we used to we used to have a lot of um, pets as, as growing up. We'd got cats and dogs and fish and chickens and whatever. But when we had the puppies, we always used to put a little, um, a little clock, a little wind-up alarm clock under a blanket for them to snuggle with because it it um, apparently the rhythm of the ticking made them feel it was like their mother's heartbeat so they always found it quite comforting but I always find ticking clocks comforting
Right, let me take the cling film off. Look at that. If you're on Discord, you won't see it straight away because there's a 40 second um, delay today. But you've got that dappled water and it's perfect for this. And I'm happy that it's worked. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Oh, are you in the um are you in the Sunday morning group, Nick? Oh. So um Al Alison's in the group but she's not in today, is that right? I've just seen Alison join. Thank you. Nick's gonna. I think Nick's gonna give you permission in the Sunday group. Um. Oh, you're in. So, Alison, you are now in the Sunday group. You've been invited, so you can join, and uh, we can hear your voice. <gasps> but there is a 30 to 40 second delay on um, what you see and what you hear and all of that malarkey. Um, oh, that's almost, almost dry. The bit that I've just touched wasn't, but that that's all right. Because um, we've, uh, we've got a good hour and a half now if we use the full time. We've got the turtle and the fish. I might do the background fish, these fish here. Um, um, now, because they are gonna be with the cadmium red and um, phthalo blue mix. I'm not adding any more, I'm just using what's on my tile. And I can sort of because I want them to feel like they're there but not there. And if I want them to, to feel like they're further away. Hello, Alison. I can just add more water with it, you see. And I'm just basically making sort of fish shapes. <laughs> I know that probably doesn't help. What's a fish shape? The important thing is when you're doing stuff like this is do not call them a specific type of fish. Um, and I'll tell you that as, as a little bit of help. Uh, because when you paint something that is supposed to be of something, you will get far more criticism than if you don't actually say um, what it is. So if you do a, a, a specific type of tree, it has to look like a specific type of tree. And the reason why I say that is because I remember doing a painting of a train and I inadvertently called it a specific train because that was what it was based on but basically I just did my own little thing and the train enthusiasts really um, know their stuff obviously and they knew it didn't have the right amount of rivets it didn't have the right amount of spokes in the wheels um, you know there was a lot that wasn't right and accurate for it to be that specific train so from then on I decided that it's best sometimes to make it generic. Be generic and it's fine. Um, I've just mixed up a slightly more darker mix of the cad red and phthalo blue because I can you can leave your coral just loose like that uh, which is really quite fun or with this sort of colour 
you can start in the foreground particularly to to do bits of uh, darks around some of the coral to define the edges and uh, make it stand out a little bit more but again I'd always I'd always err on the side of caution with these kind of things But yeah, I'm I'm really excited to get the shop back um, running. I've, I've once I've mopped it from the flood from yesterday, um, I'll uh, I'll be excited to get it back up and running. I've I've already marked the floors. I'll probably have to do that again now after yesterday's flood. Um, I've uh, got the counter a, a screen up in front of the till. Um, so I've, I've just got to now check with the wonderful sales team on how many of them are happy to come back in June. Yeah, don't don't rush. I thought you were gonna. I didn't know you were joining in. I thought you said you were gonna do it later. Had you drawn it out before? Had you drawn it before, Nick, or...? Well, mine's not actually that good close up, that's why I'm not zooming in. Oh, but don't forget, you can always crop those things off, can't you? you um, No, uh, don't be naughty. Um, no, it's it's interesting, really, with this kind of thing because um, I think um, Alison, not new Alison, Alison Cherry. Um, we were talking about this before, weren't we? Um, in another class, that you don't have to use everything in one painting to make a painting, and often you'll do a painting that. Uh, doesn't necessarily work but elements of that painting do so um, it's good to um, crop them or chop them and sometimes in fact I've made two smaller nice paintings out of one rubbish big painting because um, nobody knows I might know but I'm not going to tell anyone um, you know so I think it's important that you don't feel you're a slave to a finished painting um, and, and that's how it's got to look. Um, chop it up. So if your cling film hasn't worked, don't, don't use it. Chop it off. Crop it. If your coral hasn't worked wonderfully, fiddle with a bit that has and get rid of what hasn't. Um, and chop it off. It's very fluid, all of this art malarkey. It really is. There's, there's nothing to um, set in stone about it. Or if your cling film is the only bit that has worked, chop the whole bottom off and then do something else with your cling film on the top. Um, it's all. Oh, do you know what? I've painted over that fish. I've just I've just painted it. There's a there's a yellow fish. <laughs> there there was there was a yellow fish and I did wonder as I was going with this grey you know, this bluey grey colour, why I'd left such a funny shape. Turns out it wasn't a funny shape, it was where the yellow fish was supposed to be that is now gone. It swam away. Um how frustrating. What a wally. I'm having a day for last night in my I, I in my test show I did, I was doing Frank Sinatra songs and um I wasn't asking for requests, but people always say, Oh, can you sing this or can you sing that? I had nine people or nine requests anyway, 
uh, of songs that I haven't got the backing tracks for. I've, got, I've literally got 700 backing tracks and none of them were the ones that they were asking for. So I was just having sort of like a really bad time. Um, and some of the songs I really wish I did have as backing tracks, so I'm going to have to go and, and, and look into it now and see why I haven't got them because they're not always available. Right, that's a fish. Got to leave him. Annoyed about that. I might mix some lemon yellow with, or cadmium yellow with some white gouache or something later to pop that fish on um, to see how I get on with it. But So I'm just basically making some little patterns of dark in and around the corals just to define them a little. You might prefer it all wet in wet and that's okay. That really is fine. Is what? Oh, Alison. Might have a mic issue or something because uh, happens a lot. Right, I'll shall I zoom in on my coral so you can see how naff it is. Look, I know what you lot are like. Well, yeah, I've um, I've really gone for it in terms of just dropping in the colour. I'm I'm redefining some of the shapes with this cadmium red and burnt sienna, cadmium red and phthalo blue mix. But I'm not worrying too much about it because it still gives the idea of of being coral. We know it's coral. But the turtle, the turtles, the turtle. I also lost the ability to speak. It would seem. Um, oh dear me! You know, when you work out, I've still got another at least twenty-five years of this before I can retire. I, I, I don't know if I'll be able to cope. Well, if you'd have ever met my mother, you'd realise why all of us have, uh, me, my brother and my sister, we've all got our own, um, our own colloquialisms that are not even unique to the West Midlands, they're just unique to our family because my mum used to make up her own words. <laughs> <I've> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Brad. Yes. What was the, oh, yeah, we had a new, uh, we had a new, um, a new technique that I invented called the jerk um, in the pastel class the other morning. Um, yeah, but I couldn't describe it any other way. It was a jerk. I was just doing a, a jerk with my finger and yeah. Shove. Shove it on. Blob it on. If I go a little bit darker in here. But, you know, you all know, I ought to do a glossary of Barry terminology for art. Not not highfalutin art history terminology, but just mine that uh, shove, stick, blob, twist, um, blocky. Yeah, I ought to have, yeah, I ought to, I'll do a new, I'll do a new amendment, to, a, 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 a amendment to the book. Because obviously I'm not really following the actual coral. This is sort of 
my idea of the coral. Oh, incidentally, for those of you, um, obviously, I, don't, I was going to say, for those of you watching the live stream, of course you're watching the live stream because we're doing a class. But those of you that have uh, been to a few other classes recently, is the speed a little bit better? Or is it about the same? That, you know, is it... Are you getting more of a fluid video or is it jerking about a lot? It's right because I've, I've changed the bit rate on the stream. Um, well, basically, I, I was watching, um, Kevin sent me a tutorial. Now, I've, 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 it's... Um, it was set for 2500 or something but I've, I've checked my upload speed and it's only 1.94 um, MBS so that's what the issue is I think yeah hang on let me just check I've got it I've got it on the screen here yeah I did an upload thing so my ping is 23 my download is 24.23 and my upload is 1.94 So I've set it to 1,900 or something. It might it might be the the whiskey. Yeah, I've turned the I've turned the audio down just a fraction because um, the the problem with the um, I'm using the camera mic, um, but I'm basically over the top of the mic. Um, it's level with my mouth at all times, so I've changed that a little bit um, and made it just a tiny bit quieter, which should stop the uh, stop the echo a little bit, the gargling. Although we are underwater today, so I should have kept it. It's lovely bobbing along. One of my favourite Disney films, that, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. No, it was, um, it's Angela Lansbury and... Oh, I've forgotten his name. He was he was the dad in Mary Poppins. One of you lot on Facebook will know. It wasn't Terry Thomas. Um, Dick, no, Dick Van Dyke wasn't wasn't in um, Red Knobs and Broomsticks. I've forgotten his name. David David Tomlinson is it? David Tomlinson. Um, he plays the the magician who's rubbish, and um, Angela Lansbury plays Eglantine, and she's the one that transforms all of the museum's armory and brings it to life with a chant, which is Traguna Macoides Tracorum Satus D. I spent all of my childhood chanting that in my wardrobe hoping to um, animate my clothes and bring them to life why no idea so that's how I've just zoomed out on the um, on the coral and uh, so you can see what the whole picture looks like um, I'm not going to do much more with that I'm going to work oh I'm, I think I will just drop in the two pink fish with a small amount of crimson and a lot of water.
Carmine. Carmine, get it. Doesn't really matter which red you use, to be honest. Oh, that's really strong. I'm sad about my yellow fish. I will stick him in later, though. I can make him a yellow fish. He shouldn't be a yellow fish. But I want one. Hmm? You can. You could even have some clownfish so it can be a bit more like a Nemo thing. But, uh... It's your own world. With a happy little turtle and his little fishy friends. Right, need that to dry because I'm going to be leaning on it now. So the the next sort of half an hour or more will be spent with our turtle. Gradually building up the darks from the lights. I need to actually just drag some of that red coral into each other because I've got like a floating lump of it that didn't kind of that that do. Right, must let it dry because I'll be annoyed at myself when I lean on it. I mean, you could put more. Um, more schools of fish and all sorts in the background if you wanted to sort of here um, I'll, I'll just show you with with this same phthalo blue cadmium red mix and a lot of water So they're just, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. They're not even fully visible, but it just adds a little bit of distance because that, that's one thing that this sort of scene doesn't have is lots of layers like you would have in a landscape. So the way you can do it is through a similar colour but with a lot more water and it just pushes it back a little bit more. I will zoom in on the turtle when we're ready to do that. Um, I'll give you about a couple more minutes and then we can uh, we can crack on with, with the little turtle. That's all right.
Bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 da. That's alright, Alison. I'm slowing down now. I'm on the go slow. I've done all my fiddly bits, so then I, I want to concentrate on the turtle, but um, I also don't want to get covered in paint. If you still got your hot drink, I'd drink it because it was about, I don't know, half an hour ago we made those drinks and I got engrossed with the coral and I've forgotten mine, but it's it's still better than tepid. I don't think we've ever done an underwater scene on a Sunday class before. Ever. Um, next month is um, a watercolour class, because obviously these Sundays are only watercolour classes, and it's of Broadway Tower, but if you came to the acrylic class, it will be a different view of it. You did a lovely one. You did that in gouache, didn't you? That was lovely. And I like your galleon. Yeah, see? Nearly gave up at one point. I I, I really enjoy all mediums because they, they all have something different, you know? Part of me thinks maybe cling film on the tort the tort knock. <sighs> cling film on the <laughs> on the turtle's back might work. Do you think? Oh well, therefore I must. I'm glad I'm glad my paintings work out better than my vocal cords and my tongue do things. It's ridiculous. I've I've been up hours and hours and hours as well. I just maybe it's because I'm just so amazing and intelligent my brain works faster than my mouth is able. Maybe maybe that's the answer. That's the reason. Yeah, well, that's it. Sometimes you just, you do sort of um, get get caught up. So I've just ripped off a little bit of cling film. When you're using cling film, it always has to be bigger than the area that you want to work with because um, when it's scrunched up, obviously, it's smaller. So I'm just going to really scrunch it up first because I want it to be nice and creased. I'm so glad I found some. I haven't used any of the beeswax one yet. I'm a bit too scared because it was so expensive. The beeswax cling film for at home, you know. It's sort of like a the beeswax fabric wrap that you put on things and you can reuse it, wipe it down, reuse it loads of time and then you can rub more beeswax on it and it uh, keeps it refreshed for a lot longer. Does... Oh, that would make sense. You see, 
I I had an issue. Is I, I follow a lot of these Facebook tips on lots of things, and I'd purchased two face masks from a friend and a student who who is a seamstress, and um, I've been wearing it out. And I'd read that you can pop your face mask in the microwave for thirty seconds, and it will um. It will nuke all the germs. Sounds feasible. So I did. However. However. I'd forgotten there was a metal clip for the nose. And I set the whole mask on fire. There was sparks. There was uh, there was all sorts going on. I couldn't believe it. And I'd, I'd just forgotten. So yeah. That was no good. I could have just washed it in the washing machine to be fair, but I just thought, oh, I'll try that. I'll try the thing with the... Right, let's do his... I'm going to do his skin first, which is going to be a little bit of cadmium yellow, a little bit of burnt sienna, and a tiny bit of phthalo blue, or your greeny blue anyway. Because you want it more of a green, a greeny grey. It's going to be really pale. Oh, this clock, I need to wind it up. Sun oh, it's Sunday, isn't it? Sunday's my winding my clocks up day. Usually most days are me winding my students up. But today, I've got to wind the clocks. Which what, sorry? What colours? Um, oh, cadmium yellow, a bit of burnt sienna, and a bit of um, phthalo blue. There you go, Alice, and there's your chime. can't spin the camera around to show you because my house is an absolute bomb site while I've been working from home in this room. That'll do. In fact, I could even add a bit more blue on this because uh, you've got the underwater reflections and stuff. And Yeah, let's just make it... Oh, gosh, that's a bit... Oh, Barry, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> Oh dear. I've got to do a show this afternoon at half past five as well. I don't know how I'm going to function to do that. And I can't let them down because um, the last time I went live for them, I, I had a huge problem with my uh, with my stream. I was doing it from my phone and the sound wasn't there. And then I tried to turn, so then I had to end the show. I started the show and uh, they patched me back in to their big site and um, I dropped it I dropped my phone so all you could see was up my nose while I was trying to struggle and then it froze and then it wouldn't let me cancel the live stream so I went from about 70 people viewing to the third time when I did it to six people watching because um, I'd given up on my technical inabilities Oh well. Yeah, I've I've the only thing I haven't done is 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 his shell. And I'll be doing that with a little bit more br Act oh actually, do you know what? It would be good to do this pale wash first because um when we put um some I am now doing his shell as well. Um, in in a paler version of the colour, because when I put the when I wet it to put the um, phthalo blue is a bit of a staining colour, so it will stay there now. Uh, when I put the brownie colour of the shell on, and I will I will try it with cling film just to see. But I think, um, Alison, you may be right that it won't uh, won't crinkle enough.
just let that dry. Right, nearly dry, and we can work on oh, my uh, not even had to get the hair dryer out on this yet, which is good. But I'll probably be using fiddly brushes. You what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That copy had gone cold. Never mind. So I'm going to go with burnt sienna and a tiny, tiny, weeny bit of the phthalo blue. Just a tiny bit because it is very strong. I am going to try it with the cling film, but I'm going to have to scrunch it like mad. Oh, I really think it needs a name. it dries Let's see what that will do. I hope you're enjoying today. It's very different to what we normally do I'll, I'll just read you what's coming up this week we've not finished so I'm just waiting for the cling film paint to dry because I'm gonna have to paint his arms and legs and stuff but I need the uh, cling film out of the way so tomorrow more Monday tomorrow isn't it yeah tomorrow morning 
Dandelion Seed Head in Gouache. Tomorrow evening, Kinver Edge Rock Houses in Watercolour, which is quite nice. Tuesday evening, Dandelion Seed Head in Pencil. Wednesday, I like Dandelion Seed Heads, can you tell? Wednesday afternoon is um, a Tudor Ruin, which is in Northamptonshire. Um, Thursday morning, Vase of Flowers in Pastel. Thursday afternoon, Kimberbridge Rock Houses in Watercolour. Friday afternoon is a view of Bala, which was the same as the Monday evening class a couple of months ago. Saturday morning, Calligraphy, which is a quote on a bookmark using Resist. Whether that will work or not, I don't know, because it will depend on what everybody's got at home. So I'll probably come up with something else as well, um, in case. And that's it. You what? Sorry, Sandra. Um, normal pen should work. It's more of a watercolory thing as well. So I don't know because obviously I normally um, provide the materials. So I'd plan this pre, you know, eight month, nine months ago, um, and it was going to be watercolor and all sorts of things. But um, I might have to tweak. To, I might have to tweak this Saturday's lesson. Um, it can still be a quote on a bookmark, but it will be more pen we won't do it in resist i'll do something in resist so you can see um how it would how it would look um we do loads of different sorts of calligraphy alice and so um we mix it up so we do uh traditional calligraphy techniques and styles but we also do modern lettering styles for journaling and sign writing and that kind of thing so l last month we did um ribbon style script so i think this one will be italics because it's a bit easier to to work with uh for next saturday um but if i tell you what's coming up with the others uh basic italics and florist italics in july art deco style font in august envelope decoration letters flourishes and motifs on september Lettering with a broad-edged broad brush in October. Brush-pen-lettered Christmas cards in November. And Christmas-themed triangular book. Um, little mini book folded um, on December the 12th, the day before my birthday. That's the date for your diary. December the 13th is my birthday this year. I'm into Honey Jack Daniels now. If you want donations of biscuits and Honey Jack Daniels. That would be wonderful. Okay. Cling film isn't drying yet, so that's good. But yeah, don't forget, you can go onto our website, thearteryonline.com and um, download the booklet as a PDF file. Um, we occasionally do brush calligraphy as well. We did brush pen not so long ago. Yes, but we found with the brush pens, we, we used, um, we had four different brush pen styles, didn't we? We put four different makes of brush pen and some were for bigger writing and some were for smaller writing. So, um, I'll have to have a think about it over the next few days to see what's best for everybody. Right. Oh, if I, I don't want to, if I whip the cling film off too soon, I could ruin it. I'm just going to wait a minute. I'm going to wait a minute. Sit on my hands.
Right, let's whip it out. Oh, it has worked. Oh, yes, it has worked enough. It has. Pleased with that. So I'm going to be using the same colour that I said I'd zoom in on him now, didn't I? Zoop. I, I really, what I'm finding living alone is I, I make far more sound effects to things because you don't hear voices. Um, oh yes, I'll, I'll try and fit one in, Alison. Um, Um, Alice and Cherry for watercolour Christmas cards. Yeah, absolutely. I'll see what I can do. Um, but yes, I do find I make sound effects for nearly everything that I do around the house, and uh, I forget sometimes that I'm uh, I'm in public, and uh, and you don't all want to hear weird sound effects from me. Right. So I'm going to add a little bit more blue to the turtle brown colour just to make it a little bit darker. And I can do his little patinations, and I'm just sort of using a small brush. This is a number one round, I think. This is part of the Barry uh, trio of brushes that are now back in stock. Um, They've gone up in price a little bit, unfortunately, because since the second order, since our first order, uh, the, the price of squirrel has gone up massively. But the three brushes that I use all the time are in stock and on Shop Happy, and they're called Barry's Brush Trio. But uh, yeah, you need to give your your squirrel brushes a good rinse. outline him a little bit with this but I am going to do some more darks that are a little bit more blue oriented for his shadow what was the name of the turtle in uh, Find a name of Crush, was it Crush? The Surfer Dude Turtle. I love Finding Nemo, one of my favourite Disney films. Oh good, I'm glad you're enjoying the cling film, Dawn. It is fun though, isn't it? it? You can get some really interesting techniques. So it's fun, I mean, you wouldn't want to use it in a whole painting necessarily, although we have. Um, you, I don't know if, if you've got time you can look up um, on the shop page under our videos section I might have done a watercolour demo using cling film to do flowers or something I'm not sure um, might be worth having a look 
but over the years we've done whole cling film abstract landscapes and we've done uh, cling film flowers we've done uh, all sorts of things it's a useful technique a very useful technique Let him dry a little bit, and then actually I might go with, because I've got some of this purple, uh, this cadmium red, and um, phthalo blue mix, I might just stick a bit more blue and a bit more burnt sienna in that, for a sort of a brownie shadow, brownie grey shadow colour underneath the turtle. He's darker, much darker here. I'd be tempted to use a bit of a white gel pen or something. Um, for some highlights on him. So where I want it to blend, I'll just clean the brush a little and um, this is burnt sienna and a, um, a lot of the blue to make it dark. If you wanted to, you could add a little bit of cadmium red as well. Um, stick a bit of red in it and that should help it go um, a little bit uh, a little bit better the red so, sort of neutralized so if yeah if you've if you struggle with your mixes obviously I have I don't want to sound like I'm just on the hard sell all the time but um, I have got a colour mixing video available on Shop Appy for £4 on offer at the moment at £4 instead of 8 There are three videos in total, one for mixing oranges, reds, oranges, greens and purples and another video for colour harmony and contrast and another one for mixing browns, greys and other interesting mixes. I know Shop Happy takes a little bit of getting used to working, um, as with all new things, and it's constantly having, um, at, at the moment it's going through a lot of changes and uh, for good, uh, because there's a lot of more shops joining them, like I have during lockdown, and obviously we're saying to them, oh hang on, can you, can you do this? can it do this now and uh, so we're sort of uh, making them change some of their ways to help us but it all takes time to develop and change websites and uh, so it, it's all going to be much more user friendly I think even more so over coming weeks and months because I've certainly found it a massive help for my business if I hadn't got it I don't know if I'd be able to keep the staff on furlough and you know all of that kind of thing so it has it has really helped and they're such a lovely small business you know they're really friendly people Maybe a little bit of dark on some of that shell. Now it's dry. Again, like I showed in my demo yesterday, if you're going to um, add glazes, um, you have to do it quite quickly. But 
we've got loads of white gel pens in all in in stock so if you do want to buy any um we've got them on we have those are on shop happy uh which are good and they just really help um add a few extra highlights that would possibly be too small with uh with masking fluid or a bit too fiddly or stuff where you've gone a bit mad with your colour like with my flipping yellow fish that's no longer there I might put him later I don't know I'm glad, I'm glad though you like the cling film doing it is a useful technique it's one that you don't want to overuse but there are certain areas where it's it forces you to be random because you don't really have you've got some control on it but you don't have much control on it and um, because of that it means that you're not you can't fiddle either so if you are a bit of a fiddly person or um so for those of you that knew um i've got a poster up in the shop i'll have to share it in the in the groups actually if i can find it um it's a poster of a snake with a paintbrush and the snake is the is an adder and he's called the just adder um latin crapius artius i think and um he likes overworked paintings um and whenever he is his name when you say i'll just add her he comes out and destroys your work so um yeah you want to avoid the just adder and it's hard to do because um you you always want to make improvements to your work so whenever you hear yourself say i'll just add her that's when you have to stop because it won't help Is this a character I invented about 10, 12 years ago now? The old Just Adder. I think he's got his eye closed, doesn't he? No. I'm I run the risk in a minute I, as I'm losing um his head and his back leg looks exactly the same. So I'm gonna have to stick an eye in. Because otherwise he's gonna look like a he's swimming away from us. Yes, he pushed me pony turtle. It was Dr. Doolittle. I think there's a new one being made, a new film, Doctor, Do a, a new Dr. Doolittle. Yeah. How was it? I'm a bit, I'm a bit behind. See if it they do thank you Nick for making me feel better but they do look they do look similar maybe you see the trouble is his other back flipper leg can you oh you can you can indeed Hang on, I can split that with a line then. If I split the black, oh, the back, the back flipper, the flip backer. There, he's sort of like got his two little legs. Now.
gosh, half past twelve. I might add some more burnt sienna grey bits on his shell just to tart it up a little bit to help create that sort of um, patination he's got around. Some of it, so use the cling film as a guide, but then add some other bits on, and then I will get the old gel pen out for a few. Oh, yeah, little baby one, dude. It's such an amazing, it's such a clever film, Finding Nemo. I, uh, he touched the butt. Um, yeah, I, I do like Beauty and the Beast, but I love, I, Mary Poppins will always have a place, but I do like Mary Poppins too. Um, I really thought I was, I was really dubious about it, to be honest, but uh, it has the same feel as the first one. Yeah. Because I, I literally watch Mary Poppins nearly every day of my life for nine years. So I, I know the script, I know it inside out, and I was really worried that the, the sequel, the Paddington 2, you see Paddington 2 is better than Paddington 1, I think, but um, Mary Poppins fits really well, it's got a really interesting story, um, they've made it a standalone rather than trying to copy, and there's lots of nods to the original without it, um, and Dick Van Dyke's in it, which is amazing. Because in if I don't know how well you know Mary Poppins, but in the old in the original, as well as playing Bert the Chimney Sweep, Dick Van Dyke played the old banker, who died laughing at the joke Wooden Leg Name Smith, and he was covered in makeup, but now he plays the son of the old banker who is now the old banker, but he doesn't need any of the makeup because he is that age, and you know ninety two and he's still tap dancing on tabletops and it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, let me get my gel pen out and hope that it works. Just so you can see. Oh, yes. Um, yes. It was a murder. Diagnosis murder, that's it. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. You've got the same sort of voice. Gosh, there is a, there is a delay because I've only just picked up the pen on the uh, on uh, the the view that I'm watching, but I've already painted him. Oh, and then a few things we can do. You see, is I can add a few little bubbles. Uh, yeah, I know. I know these online classes aren't the same for those of you that have been to our real life classes, but as an alternative, they're all right. I think you haven't got to see my face. 
you only ever know my hands. So that's got to be a bonus. I'm a fan of gel pen. You can tell I'm not a purist. Because it wouldn't be allowed. You know, I'm quite pleased with this picture today well, I might do this as a job I don't think there's any money in it it does look better with a few um, white highlights you could do this in white acrylic or you could do it in um, white pencil or white gouache or um, just not 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 bother doing it but it does make a difference with the bubbles you see you could lift out um, thalo blue is a bit of a stainer so it it, uh, it isn't it isn't the best to lift out to to white so the the gel pen does help just a little bit so if I can try and zoom back out again Switch to my broadcaster, so you can see. You you see what you could do. I mean, it hasn't got it in this picture, so then there's there's really not much need to do it. But you know, on some water scenes, you've got um, like the shafts of light coming down. You could lift out some angles of light with that. But again, I just had a few highlights on the on the coral you really do run the risk of uh, being a just adder but there are little white bits on this coral so I can feel justified in fiddling I don't want to lose some of the smudginess of it though otherwise the whole wet in wet is defeated Are you happier with yours now, Nick, or are you just watching? Half an hour. Okay. So I'm probably, uh, you see, uh, you know, I could fiddle for England with this, but I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm not. I promise. Even though I am, but I, I'll stop now. I'll stop. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed today, because it's been a really different, different scene. As I say, next time it's um, Broadway Tower in watercolour. Um, and that's on the, I think it is the four, the first Sunday, uh, the second Sunday. It's normally the second Sunday of these classes, but obviously the reason why it's this week 
is that it should have been the Banbury and District Show and Big Art Fest that we organise um, next Sunday, which obviously isn't going ahead now. But yeah, 12th of July, August the 9th, September the 13th, October the 11th, November the 15th. Um, we always don't have um, a Sunday class on Armistice Day. And December the 13th, oh, we've got a Sunday class on my birthday, which is December the 13th. Um, okay, so I'm not I'm not going to do any more to this. I don't think I I'll end up fiddling too much if I do. But hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, and for those of you that that are new, you've probably already uh, had a had a quick look within the group that you can uh, you can share your photograph within the group. I'll be posting this underneath in the comments section of the reference photograph. And um, if you would like to, there's no pressure. If you're a bit nervous and you don't want to post it in the group, it is a closed group, so only those people in the group will see your work. Um, you can message the shop with it privately if you just want to show it. Um, I did do, um, I've got my eyes shut, so I've just done a little slant in white um, to highlight the eye. Um, and make it slightly different from a flipper and there is a tiny little bit of reflected light just under it you want Nick? Sarah you're speedy Right, I picked the pen up again, didn't I? <sighs> Fatal. Um, so I will see those of you um, in whichever class. I think some I will see in the morning, some I will see tomorrow night, some I will see on Tuesday night. Um, some I might not see for another month. So if that's the case, I'm, I, I would say that next month's class is definitely going to be online. Um, if, if I do reopen the classroom, it will probably be in August time, but I, I really have got to check it all and, and see how things go. Um, so don't be annoyed if it doesn't happen in August. I've, I've just got to think of safety of everybody and, and myself. I have got to put my own health first um, or potential health. Um, but the online classes will be going ahead anyway, no matter what. So even when our normal classes are back to normal, um, I will be reducing the amount of students in the class. There will only be eight permitted in. So some might end up having to join in online anyway. Um, so, yeah, there we go. So thank you very much for joining me today. It's been a really lovely morning, and thank you for your company. Um, so I will see you whenever I next see you. Um, take care. Have a lovely Sunday. Enjoy your afternoon. It's a bit overcast here still, but at least it's not raining. Um, so hopefully it's nice where you are. You might need to get out or just chill with a cup of tea and watch some rubbish on Netflix. However you spend your Sunday, do it nicely. And uh, I hope you're safe and take care. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. See you later. Oh, I'm going to...